Project Sandance is all about data visualization. How do we make sense of all the massive amounts of data around us? We use principles of information visualization to make it easy to understand the data and see the patterns within the data. So let's take a look at this data set here. These are actually 50,000 counties, but there's information, there's, there's structure in this data. So if we actually map it onto a map, we can actually see that structure showing up. And when we actually shift to a histogram, the motion really helps you understand the data. And if we switch back to the map, where they go back to. So we're gonna actually look at some results from the recent election. So here what I'm going to do is map onto each county how they voted. And you can see actually the blue counties and red counties, and it looks pretty extreme. But actually it's much more nuanced than this. So if we look at a different palette here, you can see that uh, yes, it's blue and red, but it's not quite so extreme on either case. And in fact, we can even break this apart and actually look at nine different graphs. Here are the most extreme on one side, the most extreme on the other side. So if we actually select a point over here and we get some information about it, we can see that that was Texas. So that's uh, looking at elections, but there are a lot of other things that we can look at besides elections. So we can look at the per capita income. So here's the per capita income, and you see a big swath of red across the country. If we actually kind of looked at that in a histogram here, you can see that there are very few counties that have a high per capita income, lots that have a much lower area. So we're interacting with this in a very natural way, but there's other ways for us to interact with this data. So uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to connect up to the Connect system. So I can use voice to interact with this data. So for instance, if I want to search for certain counties, uh, I can use the zip code. So I can use search nine, and that's all the counties that start with nine. Eight, and so that's just the counties that start with nine, eight. Focus, and we just focused in on that set of data. So it's a nice way of limiting it, and therefore I didn't have to do all sorts of random motions or touches. I could just use my voice in a natural way to do that. Reset. Finally, one of the nice aspects of this project is that there's very natural collaboration between different devices. It's built in a browser, so anybody can connect to the same data set and download it. And I have my tablet right over here, and uh, it's showing the same data set. And if I make a selection on the tablet, that selection is then reflected back on here. Likewise, if I make a change over here, it's reflected over there. Even if I'm in a different view, I can make a selection over here and see how it's reflected back. And that's very important to see how these selections sort of are reflected in the different data. That was a quick look at Project Sandance, a research project looking at natural ways of interacting with large amounts of data using information visualization.